So part two here, as the sun settles down on the first day, the crowds are getting bigger, the queues are getting longer, and the smoke is more visible. We go back at it for some more food. There is so much to eat and drink here that you seriously cannot run out of things to do in the course of an evening here. So we are gonna get back in for some more dishes, and as you'll see in a minute, there is just so many great people. The vibe here is just great. The guys are just smashing it all day. The quantity of food that these guys knock out is unbelievable. And it is just a great vibe. So without further ado, we'll get back to me stuffing my face and So next stop is, as you can see in the background there, it's a whole Spatchcock opened up lamb cooked on open coal and it has chimichurri courgette and I don't know if the camera will pick this up but look at all that fat on there it's kind of like lamb crackling some onion on top a little bit of chili sauce mm. oh. That's a super fresh chili sauce. Fresh tomato, fresh chili. That lamb is fatty and buttery. Onion, red onion, adds acid, is good. Chimichurri courgette, really nice as well. A little oregano, parsley flavor in there. That's a strong dish. I mean to go back for a second portion. Maybe tomorrow. So next up was Santa Remedio. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, but they were doing a rare Cornish venison taco. Just look at that bone marrow. Oh, I'm getting to there. With grilled onions and bone marrow with a charred salsa roja. They had a really big old proper pestle and mortar stone granite from Mexico. And the taco is delicious. You'll see me stuffing it in my face in a second. So next up is a rare venison taco with bone marrow. That venison, it's rich, it's not very gamey, fatty from the, um, the backbone mount. The, the venison's very lean. Delicious little caramelized onion. And that sauce is phenomenal. And that taco is delicious. Next up is Gatti Masala pulled lamb shoulder with lentils. This smells divine. There's loads of Indian spice in there. The lentils underneath, kind of like a like a dal underneath. It is steaming hot. Those lentils are packed full of flavour. That lamb is heavily spiced. Loads of fat, a little bit of onion on the top. But it's so, so much flavour. It should be on with it. 
called a fold-off, yeah. by the way. You ain't folding anything. Oh, that's an open sandwich in my eyes. So, so next stop is Matt Cross. He's doing a pastrami feather blade, and it's with kimchi and pickles, and a little barbecue sauce on top. This is going to be messy. <laughs> The spices in that beef are actually phenomenal. It's super tender. Kimchi's nice, not spicy. <laughs> but the star of the show is that. I will eat that. Just that. That's all I need. So as my belly filled and the sun started to set, it turned to drinking and everything became a blur. Every face molded into another, every food molded into another and every fire blended to make one big fire. And I, <laughs> I traveled down a rabbit hole of insanity, food delirium, if you will. And as it got darker and the evening got heavier and people had filled their bellies, people started to drink and music started to fill the air. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what I was doing. All I know was it was a hell of an experience, an outer body, if you will. And it left me asking one question. Is this how it ends for the chef who travels?